Welcome to another video. Here is our math challenge for today. Given that sin x plus sin 2x plus sin 3x equals 0, we want to find the value of x in this um, problem. What to do first here, we do the arrangement of we place sin 3x beside sin x. So we are going to have sin x plus sin 3x plus sin 2x equals 0. So by bracketing this, and uh, we are going to recall from, you know, when we have sin x plus sin 3x, we recall from the sum of an angle, which is if we have sin p plus sin q, this is equivalent to 2 sin p plus q divided by 2 multiply by cos p minus q divided by 2. Here is the identity we are going to use to solve that problem. So what we just need here is, since uh, our x is p and uh, 3x is q, we are going to replace them in the formula that we have above as the identity. Therefore, sin x plus sin 3x equals so we have 2 sin x is uh, p which is plus 3x divided by 2 dot cos x minus 3x divided by 2 let's simplify further we have this equals 2 sin of if you add x plus s together, that is 4x, and 4x divided by 2 is 2x dot cos of, and again, apply the same thing here, we are going to have minus x. But we should know something here that cos of minus is positive, because cos is an even function. Therefore, we write this thing as 2 sine of 2x cos x which all this is equivalent to sin x plus sin 3x therefore let's replace it in the above we are going to have 2 sine of 2x cos x plus sin 2x everything equals 0 let's factor out sine 2x since it is common to both of them then we are going to have this as 2 cos x plus 1 all equals 0. on getting to this we have two possibilities here it's either we let sine 2x equals 0 or we have 2 cos x plus 1 equals 0. So here are the two possibilities we have. And let's deal with the first one to know the value of x. We know that the right hand side here is 0, which means that we have already pressed the sign of some numbers which give 0. Suppose I have this as sine 180. You know sine 180 is 0. Therefore, if these two cancel each other, we have 2x equals 180. And when we divide both sides by 2 we are going to have this as 90 and uh, 90 in uh in radial form we are going to have it as pi divided by uh 2. so if this is the value of x for when we consider uh 180 as the value of zero it doesn't end there the next thing we still go to test for is suppose we have sine of 360 degree that is still going to be zero so which means that s at uh at 90 uh, only does not um satisfy this we need to test further for another values and thereby we have sine 2x equals sine of 360 as we know that sine 360 is also zero therefore when we cancel these two we are going to have 2x equals 360. 
uh, when we divide both sides by 2 here, we have x equals 180, which is also the same thing as uh, pi. And we should observe something here that the first one we get 90, the second one we get 180, which means that you just like when we multiply 90 by 2, so we are going to get uh, 80, that is, they are doubling by 2. Therefore, we conclude that the value of x is n divided by 2. So multiply by pi. Here is the value of x for sine 2x. And uh, where the value of n here is greater than or equals to 1, we have this. And again, to test for the value of x in this as well, when we transfer one to other side, we are going to have 2 cos x equals minus 1. And we divide both sides by 2, we have cos x equals minus 1 divided by 2. So we also have a series of values that will be equals to minus 1 over 2 when we press the trigonometric identity of it. So let's say we have minus 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2 is equals cos 120. It also equals cos 240. Is also equals cos 480, and that's how it continues like that to as many as number that when we place their cos, it will equals minus one over two. Therefore, we come here for the first one. We have cos x equals suppose I take the first one, which is cos 120. Therefore, when we cancel cos x equals 120. And uh, we can also write this one to until as x equals 2 pi divided by 3, which is still 120. And we can still check for at uh, 240 as well, it's still going to be equal. But we still have some numbers like let's say we press cos 300, this is going to be equals uh, 1 over 2, which is positive. So if we press like cos 150, it's still going to be equals. 1 divided by 2. That's how this one also continues. So therefore, to make this one having negative, we are going to introduce negative to it. So for this, x equals plus or minus uh, plus 2 pi divided by 3. So we can have the general result as 3n minus 1 divided by um, 3 pi. It is the general result, and when we plug n equals 1, n equals 2, we are going to get this. But what of the other side, the, the other of when it is 3 or 3 and 150 and others like that? So which means we need to adopt the positive and uh, the negative for this. Therefore, the value of x here is uh, plus or minus 3n minus 1 divided by uh, 3. So that's how we are going to uh, go with this problem. And uh, I think I'm done with this. So if you have another better way of uh, looking into this, so you can please drop it in the comment box so that we can learn together. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos like this. I will see you in the next class. Never stop learning. Bye bye.